Yo, yo. I'm the Francois. This is my studio. And today I'm giving you the best quality. Yo, right now there's a ton of content out there when talking about getting quality audio out of your microphone. What it boils down to is either buying a Go XLR and a $200 mic. Quite frankly, most of us aren't balling on a dope budget. Or they tell you to download a program like Voice Meter and it'll solve all your problems. To be honest with you, Voice Meter doesn't work that way. But lucky enough, you guys have me and my Discord community. I'm the Francois. This is my studio. And today, I've got a gift for you. I've been on YouTube for a little over a year now. I've literally helped tens of thousands of people set up their audio for their computer. I've helped thousands of people set up their audio for OBS for streaming and video recording. After responding to thousands of comments, after getting a lot of feedback from my previous videos, I truly, truly believe that me and my community can solve the problem of mic audio quality and Quite frankly, we're gonna do it for free. Most people talking about this subject have a Go XLR, which is $500. They have at least a $100 to a $200 microphone, and they're trying to teach you how to get quality audio. Quite frankly, you don't need to spend $700 to get some good quality audio, especially if you're starting out on Twitch or YouTube. You really don't wanna spend 700 bucks just to sound good. I'm talking to you right now on a blue snowball microphone with a boom stand and a pop filter that, that cost me a grand total of $55. Everything else was absolutely free. In this video, guys, I'm gonna give you guys something really cool. We've actually made a Equalizer APO preset. Equalizer APO is a program that I use to do all my processing on my mic, which includes a noise gate filter, a compressor, an equalizer, actually two equalizers, an expander, and a gain filter. It also has a plethora of different VST plugins that you can use if you really want to get into, uh, really, really want to dive into it in depth. Luckily for you guys, we've actually made a preset file for Equalizer APO built around what I have set up for my Blue Snowball. With some minor adjustments, you can get some pretty solid audio coming out of your microphone whatever microphone that you're using based on this preset file this video is going to be a three-step video first you have to join my discord link is in the description below what you will do is navigate your way to the download section in my discord and there you will find a snowball.txt file you'll need to download that you'll also need to download equalizer apo that link is in the description as well. And then lastly, you just need to set up the configuration of the TXT file in Equalizer APO. And then after that, if you need to make any adjustments, we'll talk about what minor adjustments you might need to make to really clean up that audio. What I've learned from helping tens of thousands of people set up their audio is they just want an easy way to make themselves sound good. They don't wanna go into too much depth, which is great for this video. Some of you might want more in-depth analysis of how to set up equalizers, how to set up all that stuff, and we'll cover that stuff in this channel as well. So do me a solid, guys. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell to know when I release my next videos so you can keep to up to date on all the, all the stuff you need to be up to date on. In the description below, there's a link to my Discord channel. Make sure you join that Discord. Once you're in the Discord, you'll need to scroll down here on the left. There is a channel called Downloads, and the file you're looking for is this right here, bluesnowball.txt. Make sure you download that. And then lastly, in the description below, there's a link for Equalizer APO download. It'll look like this. You just need to click the green download button on this page. You also need to grab the VST uh, plugins download. The link is in the description below. So make sure you download the VST plugins before we continue as well. Equalizer APO should download in your program files. Make sure the file's there because we're gonna need to be able to access it um, for the full setup here just to get the config file in into Equalizer APO. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. All right, so the first thing we'll need to do is hit the little Windows button, scroll down to Equalizer APO on in the ease and open the configurator. What you will do is go to the capture devices and then you want to select the microphone that you're using. This is going to install 
your equalizer APO onto the microphone's driver. The next thing you're going to do is hit the Windows button again, go to equalizer APO and open the configuration editor. Hit X on anything that pops up there. All right, just a few more simple steps and we will be done. In your files, you wanna make sure, you wanna grab that file that you downloaded, the TXT file, and go to your uh, C drive, program files, equalizer APO and the config file and you want to drop that blue snowball file in this config file so make sure you take that copy and paste that blue snowball txt file and put it in the config file of equalizer APO all right so next you're going to hit the little plus button on equalizer APO go down to control hit include and then you want to do the blue snowball dot txt file or you can hit the little open button and you should see the file in the list here just click on that file and hit open all right next we're going to hit the plus button again go down to control hit device um, you're actually going to want to drag this above the include that you just did as you can see there i just dragged and switched the device on top of the txt file it's because it's going to include this txt file onto the device that's above it and then you wanna hit this change button and select the microphone that you're using. Hit okay. The next thing you'll do is hit this little blue open button here, open the snow blue snowball preset file, and it should come up with all the VST plugins that are included in the preset file right here. And that's it guys, that's everything you need to do in order to get this included onto your microphone. You never have to open Equalizer APO ever again. You might need to restart your computer to make sure, ever, make sure everything is installed. Go ahead and do a test video on OBS or record yourself in Voice Meter or, or Audacity, whatever you're using, and you should hear a huge difference than before. There are a few things you wanna take into account for your personal microphone if you want to make some adjustments those are going to be adjustments to your noise gate filter and some adjustments to the eq based on the environment and based on your voice um, your vocal range mine is a little bit different than yours um, the preset is made for like the average of people the average uh, vocal range of everyone but what we're going to do um, is make a few adjustments or show you at least where you should be looking to uh, adjust these things. Now, depending on the environment, you might need to raise or lower the noise gate filter uh, for equalizer APO for your microphone, uh, depending on the fan noise or the keyboard noise or the mouse noise that you're having in your environment. The third one down here is going to be your noise gate. So if you hit this open panel button, the thing that you will need to adjust is on the left here. This is going to be the threshold of the noise gate filter. It's set currently to negative 50.7 decibels. That means everything below negative 50.7 decibels will not be heard on your microphone. So if you're still hearing fan noise, that means you need to turn up this threshold a little bit higher. But if you aren't hearing any fan noise, then you can leave it where it's at. As long as the vocals in your voice, the vocals, the, everything that you're speaking into the mic is being heard clearly. Everything else you can leave exactly the same. The only thing you would need to adjust is this threshold here. Next, depending on the type of sound that you're trying to get out of your microphone, depending on the type of microphone that you have, whether it be a condenser mic, whether it be a dynamic mic, you'll need to make some adjustments either uh, to the equalizer itself, which is going to be the last one here. So if you open this panel up, what you're seeing from left to right is the frequency range of adjustments to the equalizer. The, the range of most people's voices is going to be right around this 300 hertz range. That's why we, on this ninth band, we have a boost of 3.5 decibels on that in that range your range might be 325 350 400 or even lower at like 250. you can make adjustments to this on the frequency level by moving this bar here left or right and then also if you want to have more of a deeper voice more of a podcasty sounding voice you can make some uh, minor adjustments um, by increasing this volume level or decreasing it also guys if you're using a dynamic mic you do need to speak into it 
uh, you need to have the dynamic mic closer to your mouth whereas condenser mics are a bit more sensitive that's going to make a big difference in the type of the quality that you're going to get out of it as well. Now, if you want to increase the presence or the clarity in your voice, you can go to this second band here and increase or decrease the volume level of that there. Keep in mind that when you are adjusting volume levels in this EQ, a little bit goes a, a very long way. If you didn't know this already, guys, Lucky for you, my Discord community, we offer free help when it comes to audio and video related issues. So if you're struggling setting up this EQ for yourself, or if you want some more in-depth personal 1v1 time with one of my medical ninja in my Discord, feel free to jump in the Discord, shoot a question in the audio help channel in there, and we will get to you as soon as we can. As the community grows, keep in mind, if we do have a lot of people in there, it does take some time to get to you. So you might have to wait more than 10 minutes time. If you're using the Equalizer APO preset file, if this video helped you get some quality sound out of your microphone, please, please, please do me a solid, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell because we have content like this all over this channel and i plan on doing more when it comes to audio video design all kinds of stuff we give it all away for free i'm super excited guys so do me a solid hit that sub button that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching and i will catch you next time deuces deuces